everyone, my name is Susie Bass. I'm a teacher at Lindo Park Elementary, second grade, and I'm here to share with all of you my story. 2018, and I have a traumatic accident. I stress, I have a, a fracture in the head of my femur and I get rushed into emergency surgery. And when I come back to school, it's late fall, and uh, my principal at the time, Nina Dramisi, shares with me that Rye City has mentioned Lindo Park is one of their five Christmas recipients for the Christmas donations. I'm like, huh, interesting. I drive past Rye City all the time from where I go, from where I live to go to my school, Lindo Park. And I wanted to go check out Rye City. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to meet the pastor. This is so cool. I had no idea what the Christmas offerings would entail, but I wanted to know more. And so I went and back in the day, I would have told you it would be random or ironic that the message I heard that day was just random, ironic, you know? But now I get it. It was God's plan for me. Brandon didn't know it, but it was God's plan for me. The series he had, it was called The Blame Game. And I was hooked. It spoke to me in real life terms. I came away with several tidbits um, that I shared with my fifth grader students <laughs> multiple times. There's no gain when you complain, so don't be a complainiac. And then my favorite, turn your attitude into one of gratitude. And I was hooked. And so I've been at Rice City the last three years. A couple of weeks ago, Rice City had some in-service baptisms in the church. And I'm like, I I'm, I'm ready. This is, I'm ready, I'm 54. I've already been baptized as a little kid, but I'm ready now as an adult to really make this this declaration. And a couple years ago, before COVID, chose or excuse me, Rice City had done baptisms at the beach, and I really wanted to do it at the beach. And so I reached out to Brandon and I'm like, hey, are there going to be beach baptisms? And he thought possibly August. And then August got really busy for Rice City, and he's like, I'm sorry, I don't know, maybe late September. And I had my heart set upon an August baptism. And I reached out to my son in dismay, and he's like, Mom, it's okay. You don't, I can do it for you. My son is a beautiful Christian man. He's coming from School of Transformations from all peoples, and he's like, I can baptize you. And so we picked a date. We started talking to other people, and then I just felt so in need of Brandon being here. He's my home church. He's my pastor. And I reached out to Brandon and he was able to come and voila, August 8th happened and it was a beautiful thing. And people were asking me after I got baptized and you'll probably see a few snippets, but like, do you feel any different? And I really didn't feel any different, but what I felt was a different sense of peace. Um, Cause I'm in need of a new hip. I've been anxious about that. I'm only gonna be with my second graders for four days before my new hip, so I've been a little anxious, but I now have a new peace, and I know it comes from accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Thank you.